What's going on everybody? Today I am here with a quad lock wireless charging video that I have not seen done on YouTube or Instagram. So hopefully this will give you a cleaner, better option for installation. So stick around and see what I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> I recently uh, upgraded my phone, had to buy a case, you know, the ballistic glass for the case, and I decided that I didn't want the cable running down to here to my charging port anymore. I wanted to go wireless. Quadlock has two options. This one, which I chose, and then the other one that ties into your battery that's got a fuse in it. It has a fuse in it and you have to run a lot of wires. We had a saying in the military, if you want to find the easiest way to do something, ask the laziest person. I guess in this case, I'm probably the laziest person because I haven't seen this done. But I want to share it with you to give you an option and not have to cut into your wiring harness or take the tank off to run cables or any of that. So. I'm gonna reposition the camera and we're gonna get through this. All right, after you move your horseshoe down here and remove your gauge cluster, this wire here depends on the top side so you have to use a pick to get that out. This one's easy to get to, it's just on the bottom. This one goes into the back of your gauge cluster. So that wire that uh, came with the quad lock, I just soldered, heat shrank. I put the heated grip plug in on the end. Now, here's one thing I didn't know when I did this. This piece, this plastic piece is already on the bike. So you could take it down to Harley and have them put the two pins on and then, you know, when you plug it in with this side, your red's on the right and your black's on the left. But here is the plug for the heated grips and you just simply i got it on the right side clip it in and now you have power to your quad lock so then all you got to do is just you know kind of a little bit of wire management getting these cables stuffed up in here out of the way where they're not going to be getting on anything and you're done so now all you have to do now is zip tied up the cable clutch, put it on your perch, and then put your gauge cluster back with a T20 Torx for the two screws on the side. So I'm gonna get this back together real quick and I'm gonna show you how well it operates. All right, now that your horseshoe and your gauge cluster is on, you have a light right here. Flip it to the ignition, see it's working. Lord help me if girlfriend sees this video. But as you can see, turn it off again. And I'll turn it back on and you'll see it makes a connection and starts wirelessly charging your phone while you ride. It goes, charging. <coughs> it does charge really quick also and it is waterproof. All right, as you can see, real quick installation. Zip tie your cable down the clutch, run it right in the side of the clutch. I do not know what bikes have the heated grip capability and where their locations are, except for the road glide and the street glide. They're gonna be pretty much close to the same spot. Uh, road Kings, I don't know where y'alls are. I don't know where soft tails are. I'm sure they have them. That's something you'll have to check before you order from Quadlock. But if you need to sell your bike or whatever the case is, you undo your one clamp, cut the zip ties, unplug it, put the cover back on. Nobody knows you ever had it on the bars. I hope this option gives you an alternative way of actually running it, what I consider the right way because it's all clean and hidden and makes it removable. So. 
if you like this video, you want to see more of them, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will catch y'all on the next one, which will be very soon because I'm about to be installing more parts right now. So, see y'all on those. Peace.